guys, me again. So it is Tuesday today. <coughs> and the food haul video I'm going to show you today is from last week. Just super busy, as always. And um, I just run out of time, so I'm running behind slightly with my videos. I'm so sorry. Thank you so much for all your lovely comments. I had a lovely time last Saturday with me, my dad, and my brother. It was just lovely, really lovely. So I am doing the bunting. I am doing it for my Etsy shop. Yeah, if you don't want to pay through PayPal or don't have PayPal, that's fine. Send me an email. My email is in the description below. It's frugallizzyb at gmail.com. And send me an email and we can sort something out. Um, I can take bank transfers, check. I have tried to get other payments on Etsy, but they ask for a credit card and that's something I don't have. But if you see anything you like, let me know. I put stuff up on Instagram, I put stuff up on Facebook. So just, just send me an email and we can sort something out, no problem. My dad's gone to the doctors today. I booked the day off um, and he's gone to the doctors, but my brother's taken him, which I think will be better anyway. Um, so I'm a little bit nervous about that, I'm trying to keep myself busy. <laughs> so I've just made myself a lovely coffee. One of my lovely subscribers sent me this coffee and I have tried it before. I buy the sachets to take camping, but this is a ground coffee. I do it in my, I've just made myself a cup, that's why I've got my mocha pot ready. Oh, and it is gorgeous coffee. It's really nice. It's not bitter. I'm finding coffee, like some coffee is getting really bitter. But I've got a milk bottle and I will make my plant labels. Thank you very much. And I've got my permanent marker and I'll make some plant labels. Yay! Catching up on washing. It wasn't supposed to rain today. It was supposed to rain till 7 o'clock this morning. And I thought, great, it'll dry out and I can go back because I went to the allotment yesterday just for an hour last night. I didn't get much done but I got a little bit done every little helps doesn't it and so I got a little bit done so I thought today great I can do the same but it's absolutely it hasn't stopped raining all morning so far it's just rained I'm getting really cheesed off with it now mm. anyway so the shopping haul you're going to see now is from last week I didn't I'd run out of time, but just in case you're getting confused, it's from last Wednesday and last Thursday. Got an Asda shop and I also went and took my dad um, out shopping, so that was nice. So I'm not sure if the deals are still on, but i like to show you what I bought. I like to have a nosy what other people have bought, so I thought you guys might like to have a nosy what I bought. <coughs> so that's why I'm putting it up. Still coughing. <laughs> oh. Yeah, so um, let me show you the food haul videos. Hi guys, me again. So my dad is having some work done downstairs, so if you hear drilling and stuff, that's what's going on and I'm really sorry. I've had an Asda order. I've been trying and trying to get my dad out of the house and he's just not having it. So I was like, listen, you've got to, you've got to get some food in. So we've had an Asda order. And um, I've just got a few bits. Some of the prices are ridiculous. Um, let me show you what I did got. What I did get, oh gosh, it's been busy day today already. Uh, so I've got Hovis uh, slice loaf. These have gone up to one pound fifty-five now. I got some milk, one pound forty-five, four pints, semi-skim. Um, my son's been asking pizza. I got pizza for one pound sixty-five. I got two bags of potatoes. Now then, I've noticed this a lot of the places. White potatoes are always sold in two point five kilogram bags. And I've been really struggling to find them. They've all gone down to two kilo bags. And now Asda have joined the bandwagon as well. 500 grams less and they put it up. Anyway, I got them and I got some jacket potatoes because we've eaten all the jacket potatoes now that I made. I want to do some more because we've been having them as like wedges as well. And they're just absolutely gorgeous doing them in the air fryer. They're super quick to do, so yeah, I can't remember. I think they were like £1.30 a bag each. So I've got two kilograms of white potatoes and two kilos of jacket potatoes. These potatoes actually are quite big up in the size of that one. Well, oh, never mind. Need some, I'll get prepared. It's just handy to have. I got a pack of cooking peppers, but me and my dad will share these. He has a couple of them as well. 
I think they were £1.79. I got two bags of bacon, uh, two for £4. I also got some sweet potatoes for 55p. These are just 500 grams. They're still the same price. They still won't do a kilogram bag of carrots online, so I have to get the 500 gram ones for 35p. I got an iceberg lettuce for 79p. Oh, and I've got a cucumber somewhere as well for 89p. That must have gone downstairs with my dad's stuff, never mind. And then I got some British mild cheddar cheese. These are on offer two for three pounds. So uh, my dad got a mature one and I got a mild one. And then I got a big tub of clover. And that is it. That's what I've got this week. Okay, so I've been downstairs and got some grapes. These were two for two pounds. So I got one, my dad got one. And a cucumber. These are teeny tiny. Oh, everything's getting smaller and more expensive. Roll on the summer when I can grow my own cucumbers. Okay, so my jacket potato is ready. I wrapped it in cling film, put it in the microwave for five minutes, cut it into wedges, and put it in the air fryer for 10 minutes. Um, there's just a couple in there that were on the bottom that haven't cooked. I want them a little bit more crispy. And um, I'm having it with some grated cheese. I got um, told the other day that I eat a lot of weird stuff, and is it a UK kind of thing? And I'm thinking, no, it's just a what I can afford to eat kind of thing. Um, the prices of stuff are going so um, so high at the moment. Yeah, I just buy stuff that I can afford and then I put it together so we feel like we don't go without. So yeah, I am going to enjoy my lunch now. Potato wedges, oh, look at them. Aren't they gorgeous? Perfect. Mm. Right, I will see you in a bit, guys. Hi, guys, me again. Oh. So I took my dad shopping, and then today my dad wanted to go shopping. So he came out the house, yay! Finally got him out the house. I went in this morning, and I was like, right, come on, we're going shopping, get up. And he's like, okay then. And he got up. It was amazing. So I said, oh, I need to pop to Lidl. They've got a, um, a Japanese theme special offers going on at the moment they usually have different themes like italian germany anyway this week was japanese and i don't think they've had japanese before or not for a while anyway so um i saw some stuff and thought yes i'm going in there to get it i was having a look at the super six deals for fruit mainly it wasn't that great i went in for fruit and came out with this huge cabbage for 49 peas, white cabbage, lovely. Do loads of stuff with that. They had pickled ginger, oh, it's my favorite. They had this pink one and the white one. And I love pickled ginger. So I got two of these, it's one pound 49 each. And then I got some chicken teriyaki style and it's cauliflower, rice, vegetables, and seasoning. And this was £1.49 as well, I'm sure it was, or £2. And then I went in for these edamame beans. These are in shells. Now then they're nearly £3 in Sainsbury's and these were £1.70, I think. Something like that, in Lidl today. Yeah, we love them in their pods. Just boil them, bit of sea salt, and then you suck the beans out of the pods but you take this, um, like the rock salt off the pods as you're doing it. Oh, amazing. So we've got them. And they also had bags that were shelled as well. And I love these in salads. I usually get these from Asda, a lot more than this. Um, but I've had that bag from Asda for ages because I just had a few. I know a lot of people um, can't have soybeans, but it doesn't affect me or my son. So, yay! I actually got two bags of the ones in shells, so let me get these in the freezer. Then I was busting for a wee, and the only place around there that has a toilet now is Sainsbury's. So I said to my dad, I've got to pop into Sainsbury's. Lidl usually have a toilet, but it's out of order today, typical. So anyway, we went to Sainsbury's for a wee, and he said, Oh, am I coming in here with you? And I was like, Well, yeah, yeah, if you want. And he's like, Right, right. I said, oh, I'll tell you what, we'll get a leg of lamb because it's on special offer. 
So, got into Sainsbury's, I got him a trolley because he walks really well with a trolley and what is amazing now is there's these barriers in Sainsbury's where you have to walk through. Before there was nothing there you could walk in and out but there's these barriers now. So the barriers opened and I went in and I was like, do not leave the shop now, I'm just going to the toilet. And he was like, yeah, 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 fine, fine. So he said, where am I going? Where are you going? I said, I'm going to the toilet. I said, go and have a look at the legs of lamb. They're just down there. Right, fine. <laughs> so anyway, went to the toilet, came back, couldn't find him by the legs of lamb. I'm like, oh gosh, where's he gone now? Anyway, he was round the corner by the chicken wings. So I could find some Easter eggs. <laughs> Him. I've got to laugh otherwise I cry. I was like, right, okay, found the Easter eggs. Yes, found some Easter eggs. It's like, right, did you get any lamb? No, no, he never told me to. I was like, okay, let's go and have a look at the legs of lamb. So we got a leg of lamb for £15.42. It was a man of beef, £30.84. This is going in my freezer too. And that was uh, 2.4 kilograms, just under 2.4 kilograms. I like shopping ahead of time, I like being prepared because then um, it doesn't cost me as much so like I'm planning to buy this leg of lamb now for a couple of weeks, I've saved up for it, got it now. Then we went over to Home Bargains which was the original shop he wanted to go in. So I got some more of these chicken noodles, chicken flavoured noodles or ramen noodles and there's five for £2 in there. I'm sure I got them cheaper than that last time, but they're really nice. They worked out the cheapest, so that's why I got them. For Easter, I just get my niece and nephew just a little something, a little chocolate, because they get so much. Um, so I'd rather buy them stuff to do, and it's not much, but it's just a little something. My nephew loves dinosaurs, so I got him some dinosaur gliders that he can colour in himself. So I got her this little kit to put together and um, you're meant to hand sew it but she can or we can do it together on the sewing machine uh, these were 1.99 each then i got some white vinegar oh i've been trying to get this for ages from asda and they never send it so because it's really good for pickling stuff that's why i get that and that was 59p and then they're still doing their beetroot for 39p a pack this is just cooked beetroot it's not pickled just teeny tiny little ones and I also got some large freezer bags and I think these were either 69p or 89p and there we go and that finishes my shopping haul for ne this week and probably next week do you know what I'm just so happy you left the house so happy right then guys I'm off now so take care and I will see you soon bye